Hello everybody, I'm Dr. John Chovic and I'm the CTO of SwitchTalk Labs. And I'm here today to talk to you about the Smart Garden System. I'm going to give you an overall view of the system and I'm going to be a little more technical than uh, in some of the other presentations to give you a little better idea of how you can modify and change these things. So, if you've watched the quick introduction, you're going to be getting all of that plus a little more information. So let's start out. Here's what we're going to do in today's presentation. I'm going to describe the architecture of the Smart Garden System and show you the way all these things play together and what kind of interfaces are used here and there. And then we're going to describe each of the individual pieces of the Smart Garden System and how they come in and how they play in the system. Finally, we'll talk some about the weather system, uh, the weather sensor ex expansion, and also the Great Garden Cam, one of the new innovations we've added to this version of the Smart Garden System. And then we'll talk about the displays, all the different things that you can see that your Raspberry Pi is producing basically in real time. We'll take an ex example of a specific sensor that we're including with the Smart Garden system. And also we'll talk about some of the other sensors that we'll be able to add in the very near future. Then we'll take a look at some pumps and valves and what you can do with those on the Smart Garden system for controls. Finally, we're going to talk about some future expansions, some of the other new and innovative kits that we have coming out for the Smart Garden System within about the next six months. So let's look at the block diagram. Well, first of all, it's pretty obvious what the core of the system is here. It's a Raspberry Pi. A Raspberry Pi is a great little computer. We'll talk about that more in just a moment, but it is the real brains of the outfit. It is, not, it is running all the software that tells the wireless remotes what to do. The wireless remotes basically wait for the Raspberry Pi to tell them to turn on a valve, to tell them to how long to leave that valve on before it turns off, to read the sensors, communicate this information back to the Raspberry Pi. That's all being done by the Raspberry Pi. So you have the wireless remote SGS, which is based on an ESP32 which is a, a Wi-Fi based computer that can uh, allow us to easily communicate with the Raspberry Pi up to about 100 meters. It's got a little external antenna on it, so it's a lot better range than most ESP32s. Having that antenna does make a big difference. Then we have the Raspberry Pi talking directly to the weather sensors, but the rest of the sensors, it goes through the wireless remote. Now what this means for you is that you can have the Raspberry Pi sitting inside your house on your workbench, and you can have a wireless remote out in the greenhouse or out in your backyard controlling the main sprinklers or in a uh, different room uh, watering your flowers. All of these things can be done with the system. Now, here's a picture of the uh, wireless smart garden system. This is the, uh, the basically the ESP32 unit in a very nicely printed uh, 3D box. We give you all the STL files so you can print your own or you can buy them from us, but we'd much rather you do the printing yourself. It just makes so much more sense. And then you can modify the way you do. We even give you the design files. So that's the unit. It is, you can see it's connected up to four different plants with these uh, soil moisture sensors. Um, plugged into each one of the plants coming down to the main unit. So let's go back to the Raspberry Pi. Okay, there's five to seven million of these that have been sold in the United States, or in the world, I should say. And it's the most popular single board computer in the world that is running Linux. By far and away the most popular. Smart Garden System can use a Raspberry Pi 3B+, 4B+, or a Zero Pi 0W. Um, but uh, if you're going to use a weather expansion unit, you need a 3B or a 4B plus because you've got a software defined radio there that's communicating with the weather sensors and it takes quite a bit more oomph to do that than some of the other things we're doing, even the graphics. Um, the Raspberry Pi, remember, it's the brains of the system. It's also doing all the uh, graphics and all the displays so you can see what's going on with your garden system. The software for the Raspberry Pi is pure Python 3 open source software. You can download the software, you can modify it any way you want. The architecture of the software itself on the Raspberry Pi is based on the APS scheduler that's used in a number of different Python programs. And what you do with that is basically, it keeps everything running at the right time when it's supposed to run. It's a very nice 
organizational and architectural benefit. It almost turns your Raspberry Pi into kind of a real-time operating system for those uh, more fanatic people out there. The wireless Smart Garden System 2 extender, it plugs perfectly right into your 3D printed box. There's another layer in this 3D printed box underneath it that has the relays. Each one of these wireless extenders has four USB ports and also four relay ports. I'll talk more about the relays in a moment. Here we have the uh, Smart Garden System extender board. I'm kind of covering up the labels for the uh, ESP32, which is a gold box in the middle. And right above that, you have a couple of Grove connectors. Check out our website for how cool Grove connectors are and how easy they are to hook up things to the Raspberry Pi. And then over here, we have the Grove GPIO for a pixel. That's the little LED. We have a 12-bit um, A to D four channel analog to digital converter to read a bunch of sensors. And then you have where you can plug in the uh, sensors for the analog digital converter inputs, the uh, uh, capacitive moisture sensors in our case. And then you have at the very bottom, you have four USB switched ports that can be turned on and off by your Raspberry Pi through the, um, uh, through the SGS wireless extender. Over to the left, you see the USB power and programmer plug. That's a, a micro USB plug. And that allows us to um, not only power the system, but if you plug it into a computer, you can actually uh, program it. So that's all pretty interesting. This can be programmed via the Arduino IDE, and it's all in standard Arduino C and C++ code. C++ code. So, there you have it. If you wanna see what's going on in your board when you're looking at it, you can see we have an auxiliary button, a reset button, a user-controlled LED, and then we have eight other LEDs that show you whether the USB ports are on or whether the sensors are being read. All good information for knowing what your system is doing, especially when you're debugging. So, one of the new innovations in the Smart Garden system is our weather sensor. This is actually the Switch Dock Labs Weather Rack 2. It's a new product that we're bringing out uh, very shortly at Switch Dock Labs, and this is our first product to use this. These, uh, the sensor on the left measures a whole bunch of different things. It measures light, UV, of course, wind speed, that's the ananometer up there, wind direction, you can see the wind vane at the bottom, as well as uh, the amount of rainfall, inside, outside temperature, and inside, outside humidity. So all these different things you'd be interested to uh, learn about how your garden is being affected by the weather. Now, over to the right, we have our great garden cam. Now, this camera is a Raspberry Pi camera. You plug into the Raspberry Pi, and you can see it right below in a waterproof enclosure. We provide you with the, uh, um, with the STL files to be able to 3D print that yourself. And the cool thing about this is, is this system hooks up to the WeatherStem cloud-based uh, uh, weather reporting system. So you can see what is going on in your garden anywhere in the world. It transmits up a new picture once a minute. It builds uh, um, it, it basically builds time-lapse movies for you every day and it records all this information and you're contributing to the weather databases up there of the very hyper local type weather information which is very useful for a lot of uh, different reasons. So Weather STEM is a great partner and they're going to be using our garden cam. The displays, these displays are actually created by the Raspberry Pi itself. These are web-based displays, which means you can look at them from any computer in your local network. And if you're using VNC, you can actually look at them on your Raspberry Pi anywhere in the world. So what we have here, we have kind of a total system display that shows what's going on with the Raspberry Pi, the number of sensors you have, and displays um, uh, you know, subject to what you want up there. It uh, displays what the valve states are. Here you have three different, uh, three different wireless units and each one has valve one turned on, pump one turned on right now. The, uh, to the right is uh, basically listing valves turning on and off or pumps turning on and off in your system. I've got these mostly set up so where they're running every 15 minutes for 10 seconds and that's why it's so regular going across the screen. One of the cooler displays we have here takes all your weather information and puts it in a 
um, rapidly refreshed screen for you to look at. So you can see what the current temperature is, all the different weather information. You can see what the um, UV uh, levels are so you won't get sunburned if you go out and work in your garden or whatever you're doing and all sorts of rain information and two more things on the very upper right of the screen you see a wind rose and what that is used is that plots all the different directions the wind is blowing wind directions move around a lot and what the wind rose does for you it keeps everything it, it puts it in a display so you can see where the wind mostly blows and in this case you can see it's mostly blowing to the east uh, here at Switch Talk Labs. Right below it, that's a smart garden cam. That's a smart garden cam coming from the Raspberry Pi showing our uh, garden of peonies. Then there's more graphs down there showing you all sorts of different information. What about sensors? Well, we're going to support a lot of different sensors. But right now, the sensor we came out with, we decided to choose a relatively inexpensive um, capacitive moisture sensor that can test the moisture in your plants or in your garden. It plugs uh, right into the Raspberry Pi, or the not the Raspberry Pi, but the Smart Garden Extender, and uh, will measure your uh, soil moisture. Then, if you've programmed the unit, or if you've configured the unit, it'll turn on the pumps appropriately when the plants get dry. So you only put as much water as you really need in there. That's called feedback, and that's really one of the core things about the Smart Garden system. We're using feedback to do the right things at the right time for your plants. This uh, unit is really designed for inside, but if you want to make it outside, it's very easy to do. You take silicon caulking and you caulk everything above the red line, as you can see in the um, diagram or in the picture to the left, and then it's going to be waterproof. No problem. Valves and pumps, many, many different kinds of valves and pumps. We're going to be producing some tutorials and documentation to show you the way you can connect various valves and pumps uh, up to the Smart Garden system. Here's a couple of examples. To the left is something we just got in-house. We've got this, this is a 300 gallon per hour, basically a fountain pump or a large watering pump. It's powered by AC. That's what we'd use the relays for on the Smart Garden system. We'd actually turn that on and off. The Smart Garden system will be able to do that by putting that into a relay. In the middle, uh, you see just a standard off the shelf um, watering uh, valve that you find in, in many, many stores that is used for, uh, you know, basically watering your grass, those kind of watering systems. Those can all be controlled again by the relay system on the Smart Garden system. Piece of cake to do. Now, off to the right is a pump we actually include in the base Smart Garden system. We include one of these USB controlled pumps so you can get going switching water on and off immediately. You plug that into the USB port on the Smart Garden system and uh, on the extender board and then suddenly you can control that by any moisture sensor or just have a time. All of those things are configurable by you. So what are some of the future expansions we're going to do in the system? Well, there's lots of stuff. We have lots of stuff sketched out on our plate and we're working right now in the hydroponic system. This involves a whole bunch of different sensors for pH pH, uh, I almost said PhD, but no, the water pH, as well as uh, um, turbidity and the percent of oxygen in the water, all this useful stuff you like to know for a hydroponics type system. We're also going to be producing a system for herb gardens that'll be used for various specialty plants and uh, have involved with uh, switching the lights on and off at the perfect time and also having that moisture conditions just at the right time. Having the humidity inside your enclosed box if you're growing them inside or um, looking at the percentage of carbon dioxide, for example. That's one of the things you want to do with the hydroponic system too, of course. So you can also control lighting systems. This is already built into the smart garden system. If you have a USB 5 volt lighting system, you can just plug it in and control it just as you would any other valve or uh, pump. But you can also connect them in through the relays to do the um, to be able to uh, turn your lights on and off at appropriate times, or even change the frequencies if you have multiple grow lights or something like that. We're also building a user-defined sensor system that'll make it very easy for smart garden system. Uh, customers to be able to add their own sensors and how you interpret those sensors to the system. 
That'll be coming out. We're just starting work on that now. We're designing that right now so we can add all the hydroponic sensors in a straightforward, easy way. So it makes our life easier too to be able to do this. We also have a number of fut other future expansions uh, which we will be rolling out and we're especially interested in customer feedback. If you guys think of a new kind of device or a new kind of sensor that we should be supporting, let us know. We'll add it to the list. So, to summarize, here we are. The Smart Garden System is a flexible, expandable system. Remember, it's all open source software, so you can do whatever you want with the system. The weather sensors and garden cam adds a whole new set of information to your system and that we can use to uh, better grow your garden. So the smart garden system is expandable and modifiable by you. It's open source. So in essence, get out there and do some gardening. <laughs>